Today, we are going to make a Montessori dressing frame. So we start just by simply folding the shirt like you see in the video. You want to get it nice and even across the front. Flip the shirt over, make sure everything is even on both sides, and then measure to see how wide it is. We're shooting for around 8 inches wide here. So we take our dowel and we mark off 8 inches on the dowel, which is how wide our shirt is. And then we lay it across the drill, just kind of using it as a saw stand, and, and cut off the 8 inch piece. Use that 8 inch piece to mark off another length the exact same measurement. Cut that piece off too. So now we measure the remaining length of dowel rod, divide it in two, and so we basically cut it in half. This will give us a rectangle that fits inside of our shirt. Now we're gonna take the copper elbows and dry assemble the frame. So we don't wanna put any glue on them yet. We just wanna dry assemble the frame to make sure that it fits inside the shirt. So slide it in carefully and give it a test fit and make sure everything looks okay. Now we'll take the super glue and we'll just put a little dab of glue on each end of, the, of every dowel rod to glue in the copper elbows. It doesn't take much super glue and it doesn't have to be super strong. We just need to make sure it won't fall apart. Let that dry for about five minutes, and then go ahead and stick it in the shirt. Get everything even once again, and then flip the shirt over and pull it tight across the front. Once you're satisfied with how tight you feel it is across the front, begin to staple the shirt directly into the dowel rod. You can be generous with the staples here. You can't put too many, and the more you put, the more secure it will be. So we go ahead and put a couple across the bottom too, just to keep there from being too much extra fab fabric hanging loose. After you get it stapled, you just take the sleeves and tie them in a nice square knot right at the back of the dressing frame, tuck one under, and you're done. Turn it over, make sure it looks okay, give it a little test, and see that everything looks kind of tidy on the inside, and that's it. There's, this is an incredibly simple project, and we hope that you enjoyed it and hope you can make one for your child. Thanks for watching. And for more detailed instructions on this project, please visit our blog, getmontessori.com.